Hey everyone, Ross A. Pepper here. Today I'm going to be going over tourniquet holders, uh, comparing them and testing them. Uh, there's so many tourniquet holders on the market right now and I have uh, quite a few of them here. Not all of them obviously, but I figured I'd just demo uh, some of the main ones you always see online or people wearing. Uh, I'm going to put all of them in the description below, so if you're interested in buying one, you can uh, go down in the description and check them out. So starting off here, we'll start off with this one. Uh, bought this one off Amazon, it was $13. Uh, this is just a plain Kydex one. Uh, I know they do sell different attachments actually for this. They have like a uh, back piece for it. Because when I was wearing it, I had a lot of issues with it uh, catching on like a shirt and stuff. And pulling out if you move. And this kind of prevents it. Uh, I actually have two of these. I keep one in my car. It just keeps it nice and folded. Uh, which, you know, if you want to slip it on a belt, you could. But it doesn't matter. Uh, we have this one here. This I got off AliExpress. It, came, it was $6.50. Plus five dollars shipping, so it came to eleven fifty Canadian. Uh, basically, how this connects is it weaves through your molly. It takes up three uh, three sections, and it's just uh, elastic, so it just holds it in place. Then we have this one here. This was six fifty off AliExpress. Uh, basically, same thing as this one here. It's got elastic, but this one features a uh, set for trauma shears, so you can tuck them in the back. You just put them in there. It comes with a little, uh, like the normal flap here to keep it in place. But the connection for this is you actually have to weave it through your molly, so it's an actual molly connection. Uh, we also have this one. I bought this for my other plate carrier. It's uh, elastic, but it features Velcro, so you can tuck it in by your cummerbund. Uh, this one I believe was fifteen dollars uh, plus two fifty uh, shipping, so it came to seventeen fifty off AliExpress. I bought two of these. Uh, if you are ordering it, watch. Just be careful because I got it and they never had it sewn here, and it was really loose. Like the tourniquet would just fall right out. So I actually took it to a sew shop and they sewed it, but it made a nice uh, little pocket to put a sharpie to write the time on. So it worked out, but it is a pain when you order something. And you think it should fit and it doesn't and last not least we just have some uh, elastics now these are like hair elastics they're uh, just black but you can use normal elastics just depends on what you have uh, I actually like these ones better I find the other ones the rubber ones kind of I want to say they crack but they always seem to, like snap uh, but I guess if you're using this it really doesn't matter but if you're looking for something to hold it secure it uh, it kind of does. So we'll start with the testing. So attaching it. So I want to go over like actually attaching the uh, the holders themselves and how securely they are, because you don't want your tourniquet falling off if you're running or walking through the woods or whatever. You want a secure connection. So this one here isn't going to come off. The only way it's going to come off is if you pull your tourniquet and it slides down or this elastic gets snagged, but it's pretty secure. This one here has one of the uh, malice clips and honestly I'm not a big fan of it. Uh, I've broken one before and almost lost the holder itself. Uh, so I wouldn't recommend that route. Obviously Molly you can't go wrong. It's going to stay there securely. Uh, the Velcro one it's going to stay secure as long as your cover runs shut, but, you know, if you're just having it stuck like that, you know, it wouldn't take much to rip off. Um, and this option here, it's definitely secure unless your elastics snap. So, if you have brand new elastics, then you shouldn't worry, but, you know, if they're getting old and sunlight cracking, then I would probably swap them out and get some new ones. Number two, I want to go with versatility. How many platforms can you attach these to? So, obviously, if your plate carrier has Molly, then these ones, basically all the bottom and this one, will work. Uh, if you have like a Slickster, then obviously you want uh, the Velcro one. 
but in most cases you can put a lot of cummerbunds are all velcro so this one here can basically go on every plate carrier and then these ones here you're gonna have to you know it's no molly then they're not gonna work you could probably get away with this one going on uh, like a shoulder strap or anything like that but you're limited in your choices for any molly ones because i know a lot of people are getting rid of getting out of molly and going with more velcro setups uh inserting the uh tourniquets uh fairly easy for all the elastic ones uh you know this one's a bit tricky because you have to hold one plastic or try to feed it through it's a little difficult with this one here uh as long as you have it folded upright it'll come out and go in no issues but if you have it too loose and they'll just slide right out there's no retention on it same like uh, with retention goes you know a lot of these here pretty good retention like you know they're not coming out fairly easy except for this probably has the least retention of all of them so we'll just go through that now because uh, removing them is probably going to be you know your most important thing once you get in there that's fine but you want it you want it now so we'll try this one here we'll try we'll go tucked up so we'll go we'll try one-handed so not too bad with that one and two with this one you also get uh trauma shear holders so it is what it is uh obviously the codex one no issues you can just probably slip that one back in this one here a little bit harder to get out than this one This is probably the hardest one to get out so far. And then we'll try the... And it's getting snagged here. So overall though, obviously this one's the hardest to get out. But, you know, you shouldn't have to use two hands. You know, if you need, you don't have one arm access to it, then obviously I wouldn't recommend that one. Uh, I'm sure elastics, normal elastics would be a lot better because they're a little bit more forgiving and a little bit more stretched than these hair ones but i would recommend for if you're worried about retention and being able to pull one hand this setup uh probably this one here that and then that this one glass this is nice you know if you have a backpack or something like you know you're not walking around with all day so you keep it in the car you just want to grab it and go I'd recommend that but if you're going on a plate care i'd definitely recommend you know this one it's more versatile you can put a pen sharpie in there all these ones you can't um although this one does hold trauma shears if that's another thing you're worried about um but I highly recommend this these are nice they're super slim they don't take up a lot of space compared to these ones like that one's almost taking up two molly sections this one's pretty well two molly this one if you put it in your cummerbund you don't need to worry about it but definitely a slim option here and along with the hair elastics so I hope this helps you guys out I know there's plenty of ones that like the flip down ones where you it's like a pouch and you pull it out there's plenty of different options but uh, these are what I have so I hope this helps anyone out looking for a tourniquet holder uh, thanks for watching please subscribe hit like and leave a comment what you thought and uh, I'll have more gear testing and overviews and reviews coming out soon thanks